Art mm. is fundamentally egotistical. Someone talks about whether they want to talk mm. about graffiti. The one thing that taught me that whatever you, if you want something, you go out and achieve it. I think it taught a lot of people that. Killer Keller Official dot com. Killer Keller Podcast Live Show. Step into the live and dangerous world of music and street culture's number one magazine platform, the Killer Keller Podcast Live Show. Special guests alongside performances, news, reviews, profile pieces to a live studio audience. Your monthly live stream is here. Hit Facebook page Killer Keller Official. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Shout out to our Don's Graffiti Kings. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live, central London, or as central as you could have been, but now you're here. It's the Killer Keller podcast. Subscribe, click that button, tell a friend to tell a friend, do not sleep, I repeat, do not sleep, do not sleep on my repeat. And uh, yeah, today's show... I'm real, I feel real, I feel real uh, confident about the banter because not only is he a friend of mine I've known for a, a long time, but he's also extremely well versatile in uh, many areas of the, the graph octopus um, creatively and otherwise. This is the man like Jebba. Hello. <laughs> What's going on, man? I'm you good. good. I'm like good. That. Well, I feel, I feel good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. Special, you know You've, uh, you're upgraded, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? That's <laughs> <laughs> upgraded, yeah. Ooh. yeah. But you've... Uh, you've you doing, man? Yeah, I'm good, man. You've travelled quite a way, though, haven't you, brother? Yeah, a bit of travelling. A bit yeah. of travelling. Yeah, see, um, you're, in, you're in Spain. I mean, I yeah. ain't seen you for fucking time. Yeah, it's been a while, man. It's yeah. been a while. I think I, the last time I saw you was just... Not too long before I moved out, yeah. actually. Not too long. Uh, yeah, so that's been a, what, a couple of years. Yeah, a couple so, years. yeah, man, it's definitely good to see your face. Yeah, yeah you catch up, you know. Come on, that's yeah, the one. Know, since um, a kid. How is it over there? What's the, what's the vibe in, in Banging. Spain? Is it? Yeah? Banging. Talk like, to me about that. All right, so, I mean, I've been, so I've been out there in Barcelona for about two, almost two and a half years now. Uh-huh. Um, being in Barcelona was my dream. That was your dream? That was your ambition? Yeah, Yeah, I first went, I was 20. 20th birthday was the first time I went there. Donkeys ago. Um, And from the time I got there, I was like, this is the jam. (laughs) This is the jam. Bear in mind, it was a time when, it was a time when, like, Barcelona was like, uh, yo, Graf was legal. Like, it was just legal. Oh, shit, so... It was just bombed. You hit you into the promised land, you were like, whoa. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you get there. <laughs> also, like, skate haven. You know, if you skateboarding. Yeah, because you're big into skate and street stuff, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah. So, because of the skate culture, you know what I mean? Still now, even to now, it's like, the, like one of the meccas of graffiti and skateboarding. So, there, obviously there's been, it was from then, it was like my dream to be in Barcelona, which yeah. took me a long time to get there. Yeah. Finally, I was just like, listen, just to get some money. Yeah. Which he took a lot, that this pay packet in one month, took it all and got the hell out. Yeah, yeah. And it's not what, you know, everything I kind of thought it would be, you know, back when I was younger. Yeah. But it's pretty close. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you just live it because it's your dream. You just, you know, do what you do and mm. take your time, get to know, you know everything around mm. you. Mm. And I'd been there prior since moving there, but... Yeah, man, it's, it's, um, I'm enjoying it. I'm That's enjoying so it. sick, man. You know, like, because, you know, speaking to even artists, not just craft writers, but a lot of musicians and people, you know, taking that leap, I mean, obviously, that there's, there's a few conflicting things, like uh, whether you've, you know, come up against the law or anything and you've, you're having trouble getting vi- visas or, you know, or passports or whatever. But um, largely, I think people fear the idea of uprooting and just doing it. What's your, what was your... A tape on that. Did that did that play in your mind? So obviously like I was scared I was scared obviously. Right. You know, you have I think the only fear you really have is change. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, yeah. it's what there's a change. Mm. The difficulties of logistics. So uh, totally. You know, yeah. and I didn't know was you know how yeah. to do. My, my original plan was to go there, learn Spanish before I moved there and you know, I, you know, kind of set myself up that way, <laughs> dude. I didn't learn anything. I didn't learn any Spanish. You I were like, cold, nothing. Like no, I, you know, I went to, I went away <laughs> once. I got like, I went to Tenerife, and that's where I learned some Spanish. I learned like, hello, thank you, <laughs> two beers, 
<laughs> yeah, and, uh, pretty much all of, yeah. and the paint. Where is the paint? I do colors from color charts, you know, really. So I do a color, yeah, I need it for paint, you know. So I think I love that. <laughs> I love that. So for like five days, in, four or five days in Tenerife, I was like, right, I've got to figure this out. Start like reading some stuff. Quick style, yeah. Put them in my head. And then, like, that's how, that was my first experience of Spanish. Um, I'm, not any, I'm not really that better now, to be honest with you. But that was logistic. Mm. But then also, it's mad. You grew up in London, right? Mm. Everybody comes to London. Dude, oh, like, you know, you go to squat parties, you've got, you got the talentless to gab in one room. <laughs> you've got other agree. Spanish, like, raving Take it for granted as well. Take it for granted. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, mm-hmm. been, like, members of my crew, you know what I mean? Like, like when I'm in, like, they're from Spain. Yeah. So many people have met have done it. They've come to London and some of them don't just about know any English. They're still <sighs> here and they've made it. So how the hell can I not do it? I've never even thought of it from that point of perspective anyway. Like, what? Yeah. Because you do... You know, you, when you're in London and you're in the mix, you do hear different accents and different languages. But you... Do, you well, ignorantly, I, I pass it off as like, well, they're talking to their family. They're not going to talk English. They may, but you're right. There's a high possibility that just like us going over to those countries, they don't know nothing. Yeah. Nothing. You've had like how many friends? Think about how many friends you've had, you know, who are, who are from Italy or Spain or, mm-hmm. or Greece, you know. Mm-hmm. So how many people over the years you raved them and so forth? Totally. They did it, they uplifted and got there. So, you know, I can't I, I'll give it That's a go. It's true, and it, it's give empowering, it isn't it? It's a very, very cool thing to have experienced that you do, you've done that. Yeah, it? It, it definitely was like the friends I have mm-hmm. that were like, you know, were Spanish as well. You know, it was mm-hmm. like, you know what, I told them I'm doing this jump, and they're like, yeah, go on, do it, Jebby, mm. cool, man, go do it, man, do it, you can do mm. it. And they've done it, and they're working, they're, made, they're making money. Working now. is, it, 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 is that fraught with, like, not having the, the language to cross over and communicate, is that quite hard? Well, I mean, I'm l- lucky enough, I'm in a position where I don't, uh, I, mean, I work for this position, but I don't actually work in Spain. So I actually travel for work. Okay. Um, you know, I, I work very tight with a company called Paint Freaks. Right. We do a lot of jobs in uh, UK and other parts of Europe. You travel and do graph. You travel and paint, yeah. you know. Um, so I'm in a lucky position to do so. Mm. You know, in Barca, um, if you don't know the language, it's, you're very, you are quite limited to what jobs you can do. A lot mm-hmm. of people are English teachers. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, um, the call centre work. A lot of call centres are based out there. For a lot real? of man, do travel no, lodge. Of course, so, yeah. so yeah, by default, it's like to communicate from, yeah, I get you. I get, yeah, yeah. So there are actually more. Uh, that that it's a destination for for different vocation, different lifestyle. You're actually just using it as your base. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're doing, yeah, aren't man. you? Yeah, yeah. And I then mean, you're just travelling everywhere in between. If I had to get yeah. a job, I'd get a job. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, if I had to get a job in Barca, I came into it. I had, yeah, you I'd, can I'd, do it. Yeah, I'd get a job. But you know, I'm happy to say I'm in a position where I'm. You know, I've got my feet placed mm. where I can travel and make money, mm. and, you know, live there in Barcelona. Yeah. Um, at this point, I want to kind of, at this juncture, yeah. see, I'm getting all these trendy words in on my podcast. <laughs> I'd just like to point out that uh, we want to give a big shout out to Form 72. Oh, who's man. Your, who's your boy. Oh, man. And he came through for you. Uh, early doors. Early doors. Legend. Mm-hmm. Legend, man. Let me say something about Form. Okay, so I've got, I've been to Zon about this recently as well. Um... Obviously, you're like uh, your kid growing up, man. I'm North London. I'm from North London. Yeah, yeah, so growing right. up, man, like it was hammered, right? Before mm. you get to who I saw, but like <laughs> form though. Obviously, you see form up, mm. right? And I had to do this. Um, I had to do this project, you know, university project. Mm. Uh, I chose the university project, discussing uh, hand styles, the whole the whole thing of hand styles, mm-hmm. and how it's linked to typography. And necessarily, necessarily calligraphy, I mean, it has a lot of similarities to calligraphy, so you want to bring into that, you know, script and so forth. Mm. But essentially, how it is linked to typography and understanding and balancing letters. <sighs> yeah. So, because, you know, letters are the, the what, what, letters are the, th- uh, what, the third or fourth, right, writing's the th- second form of communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, yeah for you've real. got speech, and then, you know, you've got, you got writing, right? So it's cold, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, I went around, you know, taking photos of loads of like, you know, good hand styles. You know, I was got my camera, you know, writing, this, writing yeah. this like dissertation and so forth. And it was, you know, it was back in the days of MySpace. Remember MySpace? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I do remember. MySpace, yeah. boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> out my in, life. Yeah, boy. Back in the days of MySpace, I hit up form, and I was like, uh, "Yo, dude," I explained to my projects, and he just came through. He was like, "Yo, man, yeah, this is this is dope." 
it's just dope, man. Like, yeah, I like mm. it, man. I've got something to say. The, the, the pages this guy came back with to, for me was, it was amazing. Wow, it was enough support. So sick. And to get to get the communication back from you know someone that you respect so much, you know what he looks like, man. Mm. You know, what I mean, there's you, you so many people. I've sent a lot of emails to different people and they get back to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but to get this information back and his view on things, and maybe backing up some of my ideas, but it's, it, I wasn't trying to push them onto him. You just seen what he thought about it. Yeah, yeah. He broke it down. He structured it so like so academically. You really? know, like. I said, no, to this day, I'm just like, thank you. Mm. Thank you That's for that, so man. Cool. And then I finally met him at some point as well. And I was like, yo, dude, I'm that guy. Yeah, I'm... And he's like, dude, respect. He's taken back. He was like, what? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, dude, respect. He shook my hand, you know what I mean? He said, yo, well done, like what you did there and so forth. And Amazing, amazing. Yeah, man. Like, I've, I've got a lot of respect for him. He's a very, very nice guy. Cycles of life. To yeah, man. Still, even now, just like, it takes me back. And I'm like, yo, this is... This, some things are just, there's patterns that you can create, but then later on you meet meeting him and you've come so far in your career and this, this, this homage of like, yeah, fate. <laughs> yeah, that is, it's, you know, I love it. I mean, I think the best, uh, to me, I'm still, I, I still like, not a fanboy, but like, I'm still a fan of the scene. Yeah, me too, and I say it all the time, bro. You know? Yeah, I think we all are. Yeah. I think there's a geek yeah, in all of us. still geek out about yeah, it, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I think the best thing about, the best thing about this culture is that you you don't know what it looks like. <laughs> this culture was not built for, for you to know people's faces. <laughs> you only know their work. You know what they do. Yeah. You know, you bring it back to the grassroots of you know how how I guess how this how, I feel like you know how it started is that you've got a name, you get up however much, however high in any way. Yeah. You know like. <laughs> How big, how small, how many, you know, you just you get up. You don't know, you never know their face. Totally you can go 10 years without know, knowing the face of your like, you know, favorite writers. Yeah, yeah. When you do meet them, mm-hmm. it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't get me wrong, I mean, some people, you know, like, you know, anybody, everybody's able to have their own personal lives. Mm-hmm. Some people will be like, no, I don't want to go drink in the pub with that guy. Mm-hmm. But then some people are going to be like, that was a dope, dope guy, it was a good mm-hmm. experience, mm-hmm. I'm happy. Even when the person I was going to drink in a pub with, yeah. I'm happy I met them. Totally. I got, I got that opportunity. Is it a ground level thing with meeting with someone on a, on a more social thing outside of just the graph, you know? Like you and me, we hang out anyway. Like, dude, so yesterday I introduced you to Drax, right? Yeah. Right? I know you've never, never met Never met before. the guy all these yeah. years. Look, I've never seen dude, him. Dude, oh. you, you, know you know what makes the value? Because I love Guy. I love this guy, yeah. you know? Because we go out and hang out. We yeah. go and do stuff. So I know when introducing you to him, I was like, I'm like, I'm like, Jebba's not going to be disappointed in this. If you never met Drax, you, you're going to love him. Like, so I know what you mean. It's all about um, conduct and the way that your perceptions are yeah. of a person. Sometimes it's not the one. Sometimes you sh- just shouldn't be connecting with them. You just don't, you can't find your feet in a conversation and stuff. Well, how many years <laughs> I've seen Drax stuff? I've never met the guy. Oh, no, it's mad, isn't no, it? I mean, it's, it's Drax, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, he had it, yeah, yeah, but yeah, he's yeah. still doing it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Dude, it's crazy. I can wait 15 years. I still years. pinch myself over that you know? shit. Like, <laughs> like, that's my dream. I, I, mean, I still 15 like... 15 years, I can wait 20 <laughs> years, I can wait 30 years. Yeah, Just yeah. to slap a hand with a guy and shake their hand after yeah, yeah. all those years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Waiting what they do. Yeah. That's it, man. I'll take that. But there's an argument that the reason why you can wait is because you know the integrity of the person that you're wanting to shake hands with will last them the time. You know that you, you probably buck with him or be him, you know... Godspeed, you'll meet him at an appropriate time because you know his integrity's there yeah. and he'd be there from the jump and he'd be there till the end. When exactly, you're... man. Always an honour. Mm. It's always an honour. Mm. You see like, that, people? Always yeah? an honour. Analysis, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you've been very much a, a character in my heart that, um, as I was saying at the start, that embodies so many different disciplines of like, right, cal- calligraphy, you know, and yeah. t- type font through to illustrations and your your sketchbook your black book is like peak thank you man thank then, you very much and the way that you it's it's illustrative and it's you've still obviously you've got your you've got your style and you've got your you you've got your lettering and you know thank in you. piece form but bro like i can recognize a jebba character <laughs> oh respect thank you i just you, man. do i'm just like yo like and how cuz i know this right for those of you who ain't watching and listening just behind me is a uh, a, a, an awesome piece of um, 
October ink, which uh, you've been doing daily, and I was given one for for the wall. So here it is. It's a bit like Tony Hart, this place these days. But, <laughs> but yeah, man, it's fucking sick. And yeah, as a piece, I mean, that that is, I, I'm always blown away by your translation of what's on paper on the wall. Oh, thank you. For real. Thank right. you. The colours you use and stuff. I wanted, I want to circle as much into the details of that and how you, um, how you treat your your black book how how this thing is formed because i know it's an important part of your creative output how's our black book formed um right okay originally actually you know i never knew back when you know you met me i was a kid and stuff you know mm. i never actually had black books i didn't call, call it anything the sketchbook really dude i had a i had a, I had a folder like a blue folder that's full of paper no way. Yeah, seriously. Because what at the time, <laughs> when growing up, it was like, if I need to reference, it's like, you know, you, so your black book's your reference, your library, right? Mm. But at the time, it's like, if I want to draw something, redraw something off of something that, I, you know, I previously did, mm. oh, well, I've got to like keep flicking the page over and like trying to draw it and I'll oh, look at it again. So I never collected the black book. So it's long, yeah, yeah. It was long. And then I don't know, one day, like, you know, I think early 20s maybe, um, yeah, I just started holding, holding a book down. But, um, so, because it just helps with having loads of paper just clustered into different folders and stuff. Right, you got the book and I got into it. Mm. Um, so for me, the development, development of the black book is uh, creating your own library of references. I think it kind of started from that. The library of eyes, a library of hands, a library of uh, rhythmic forms. Elbows flaring, library. Oh, that's so cold. I love the library aspect. Yeah. That's so sick. Go on. You have carry to, yeah, it's kind of like that, you know, like, uh, and also, you know, like for people that just, you know, who are just, just traditionally letters, it's your library of fucking letters, man. You know, it's just your library of letters. And you know, so you flick through it, oh, what piece am I going to paint today? Oh, I've got that one there. It's page five, six, I'm doing that. You know, if he's going to do the next day, it's that, you know? It's like, it's like, the, it's like the, the visual sample pack of, yeah. of, of graph. That's yeah. mad! You know? Woo. Like, to me, and then, you know, as you get into it now, and you keep developing, your, you keep doing, you're going through sketchbooks, going through sketchbooks, going through sketchbooks, right? Don't get me wrong, man. There's, there's like, sketchbooks from two years ago, and I see a character, and like, I ain't going to paint that character now, you know? Yeah. I might do at some point, but not now. Um, so I think I think actually rarely go back to, like, a sketchbook from two years ago and be like, oh, I'm painting that piece because you know you develop and you, you change up a bit or something, you know. <laughs> but I kind of um and I've got a thing as well, like so because I do illustration, yeah. you know, I, I do uh you do a lot of sketches. I think you've done some logos, yeah. You did some logos for me as well. In the yeah, 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 Cup. yeah. You've got some of that done. Two of them, yeah, you two. Do. The Demon Us one and the Sync Crowd, the DJ collection. Yeah, yeah, Chill yeah, on. that's it, yeah. Oh yeah, you killed that too. Sorry, yeah, 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 but yeah, on the, yeah, again, the good thing as well, like with the sketchbook, it, it makes you, ideally it should make you draw. Mm. It should, it should like make you be like, oh, I've got, I've got to do some sketching. Start sketching well, you've got a better what you've done before. Is that kind of self-competitive? Not better what you've done before, but you look at your sketchbook and you realise that, wait, my reference library is thin right now. I need to come up with some new references. Mm. Otherwise, what am I doing? I'm going to go stale? Mm -hmm. new references. So mm. I'm going to get into the practice of that. Also, I've got a th I had a thing, I developed a thing about um, always inking my sketches, always you know, penning out the sketches. Because I like to, if it's when I was doing more digital stuff, I, I like a solid black outline. So mm -hmm. I scan it in, render it and so forth, and I've got that to fill in. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When yeah. I've got a pencil sketch, it's, it's, it's a different process. Not to what yeah. I want to achieve, you know? And I guess I'll go up in the years of like where Vector was a big thing as well. So I, I, was, I, I got into the practice of inking like black outline and everything, and also I sketched in pencil. Mm. Um, so a lot of my sketchbooks are, are straight black ink. Some pencil, some pencil sketches in there still. Mm. But unfinished, it was supposed to be a pencil sketch. Um, mm. But yeah, I've got a thing about having like black ink. As in, like a finishing, you know, it's signed off when you've when you've done the black ink. Yes, so it's just repeating the process, so you know yeah. you're doing it all the time. Exactly, always. What about the um, because you were talking about like. Going from an illustrative point of view, going from uh, uh, paper to, um, you know, taking the shot, putting it down, scanning it, putting it into the computer. Yes. Because often, like, when when you're dealing with um, colours or shades, like the grey here on the back of this yeah. pitch piece you gave us, like, that can sometimes hamper the the um, the flexibility you have on the on the computer screen, right? Because that 
Or am I wrong? Can, can you, can you, is there maneuverability if you've chosen a colour or a shade? What, as in if you... Um, if you want to get rid of a grey or a blue or a yellow. Oh, well, I mean, let's say, for example, I like... Uh, off, the, off your original sketch. Off the original sketch. Yeah, yeah. So let's say, for example, yeah, you have to... You, you know, you, I've, drawn, I've drawn a grey thing in here. Like, say, for example, here, there's like a, a grey kind of form. Yeah. I scan it in. You really sure I don't want a grey form there. Mm. So I just isolate all the black lines, raise a grey or add mm. a new colour on top, and then, yeah... You, Isolate it, so you play around. Okay, so yeah, yeah. See me in my old school ass. I'm still like, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I hate doing it, man. I'm just like, oh, we'll get into it. it yeah, it's become fun, but I, exactly, yeah. it comes from it's same processes and um, but you know, like for me, this like this, this, the black book is the gold dust. Yeah, and that's the thing that like kind of drives me. You know, when you see a writer's black book. You can see a thousand pieces from this artist, man. It's right. Mm. Like, it's dope. Don't get me wrong. It's always going to be dope. But when you get the honor of seeing a black book, <gasps> dude, that is the gold. Totally. The amount of times I'm just like, yo, this is like from his mind spray. This is that thing that yeah. sets off everything. This, this is like, whoa. Like, yeah. this is, like, you see the little part of how the mind works, but yeah. you do not see on a wall, man. Totally. And it feels like you're, uh, it feels like a fucking privilege. Oh, man. Oh, every time. Every time, but to hold that fucking thing, I go for the pages. I see people like I only personally work in black and black and white. I got a thing about black and white, solid black and white on page. Mm. And it's, you know, you go for some like you know writers' books, full color pages, mm. full like double double A four, so it's A three. Mm. Mad, mm. mad. It's like insane, whoa. insane. You know who? I've had Vince on. Yeah, 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 man. Vince is yeah, Vince is dope, man. Vince is dope. He dropped some knowledge. What um. What pens do you use for your black book? Um, right, so for my pens, pens. Uh, right now, I'm currently using the Unipin, the black Unipin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've gone through quite a different, I've tested a few different pens that I like. I used to be about the Eddins. Eddin, I used to be really about, was it the 1200s? Mm. I think it was the Eddin 1800s. I think it was the 1200s. Mm. Oh, those are the grey ones. Are they blue bl ones. Blues? The blue, uh, yeah, blue yeah. case. It's yeah. about those, but the thing is, the ink isn't really pigment ink. So it, it will spread and bleach over time. Right. So I got into, and then the rotaring pens, the burgundy cases. Badass. Those were, it's the way it hits the page, it's slick. Like, it doesn't go, you know, that skitchiness, it's just slick, mm. wet, you know what I mean? Like, when yeah. you put it on the page, your eyes start watering. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they're expensive as well, so. Mm. I've been using the uni pins a lot of yeah. recent, um, and so, yeah, I've been going through those. You switch up, you switch up a fair bit, do you? Uh, no, 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 no. No, you not, stick to... I've stuck to that right now, I've stuck to that, because there's nothing more irritating than have a pen that you don't like using. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's a waste of money and we're going to do it now. But yeah. waste just stick it. with what you know, the weapon of choice. Yeah. Until I find another pen that I think is dope, I'll, mm. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll use it, man. Mm. Um, what about colours? What about within the, the grain? I don't colour anything. Don't you? Mm. No. You see, like, so I literally focus on black and white mm. when it comes to my sketching. Mm. I, I literally focus on black and white. I don't colour anything in. in but I respect book. that, bro. Like, I do. I feel that because um, it's. It's a different kind of discipline. And when people, pe I've heard people say to me, oh, because I do, I do some illustrative stuff, and like mm. people say to me, oh, you know, why don't you put some colour in? It's like, because that's just a different skill set. That's what it feels like to me. It's a different skill set. I think what it comes down to, like, whatever you do, uh, that's what I kind of feel like, whatever you do uh, regarding letters or regarding uh, sketching mm. or, and like even fashion, any creative thing, mm. you do what turns you on, man. Yeah, it's what turns you on. It's what tickles you right there. Yeah. So I enjoy black and white. I enjoy pencil, like yeah. doing the penciling and ending the inking. I enjoy mm. that process. Start adding color now. I'm just like, this is a bit long. It's, it's a bit long. When it's the kind of thing, right? Okay. It's limiting though. It's, it's limiting. Yeah. Well, yeah. You restrict on intentionally, don't you? You you end up restricting yourself, and you have to like take time out. For example, to you know. Uh, understand colours. Mm. So if you don't sketch in colour, you don't play with colour, then how are you going to come to colour combos? Mm. Yeah, see, and you're, and this is the thing that we're getting into the we're getting into the, the paint now because your choice of colours and how you, yeah, the form, yeah, form is the real one for me. There's a flow when you've got a character, for instance, with his hand like that or like that, <laughs> like he's owning that move. Yeah. How do you? What's the? Yeah. Uh, how? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just how? <laughs> um, so, I think, look, for, I guess, 
I think the first thing I, I, I look at hmm. is the inspiration from like previous people that, you know what I mean, hmm. laid it down. Mm -hmm. right. So, I mean, you know, growing up, you know, who, who, who I had to look at, um, like, look at, straight up zombie. Oh, zombie. Okay. You know, with his thing, with the, the <laughs> boom, like the yeah, whole flow, yeah, like, yeah, boom, yeah. you know, like yeah, you just had that there, just you know? Swirling. Yeah, man. So you got, yeah. that, you got that flow, okay? Yeah. Uh, tone from Spain, Ooh. Tona. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, probably, you know, again, yeah. had it. Um, you got the whole, the whole this whole mode, obviously, you know, mode has worked in rhythm. You know, the whole made the whole thing jump and with rhythm. You know, I've seen him the way he, the way he works a can. I find so oh, interesting. Oh man, dude, oh, it's like tapping it and kind of still boggles my mind. <laughs> still boggles my mind. You know, yeah, didn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, uh, just to name a few. You know, it's, it's, it's all bag of people. You know, mm. even up to like, you know, I guess a reason like ombre, stick up kids ombre. Oh, oh come on. You know what I mean? Hands always got the flair. You look. Yeah. Do you remember? Um, there you go. Do you remember Toast Porno Kids? Oh my God! Yeah, man. Come on, man. That yes. geezer was. Yeah. yeah but uh, his lines. Yeah. The weight of his lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's what sold it on you. The weight yeah. of his lines. It was like his updated formula. Exactly. Right, like thick to thin line work. Super cold. Yeah, you'd go like wafer thin yep. on some bit. Yep. You know. Mm. So you know. You, you have all of that you grew up and these are people that laid down the kind of foundations of this like kind of if you want to refer to you know b-boy characters mm. you know like you know, the b-boys thing mm. um and so you know at some point you sit there and you think okay you know i've got to like uh you know I, i'm you do your own sketch you don't want to copy people mm. you know but then you start playing forms and you play you, you need to know an, i feel like you need to know anatomy you always need to know the anatomy of something before you can animate it even even if it's like not from a not from a uh, human perspective, it, it could be a car. It could be instance. a car. Yeah. It could be a toaster. It could be a pencil. Yeah. It could be a brick. Mm. You know, if you want to give it funk, you want to give it like some kind of animated there feel. You, mm. you need to you need to understand the fundamental structure of it. Again, this is why your sketchbook's important. Mm. This is why sketching is important. Knowledge, son, he's giving you knowledge, of it, boy. <laughs> Wow. Even like figure out is do it. You know? Humanizing, isn't it? Yeah. Humanizing the thing. So if it's a car, then you've got to find the where's the torso in this? Where's the Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, man. Ouch. Wow. And like, you know, it's it's like the graffiti writers have been doing it, you know, for this is this is what it's based on as well. Again, when you come to like tags and foes, right? Yeah. yeah. You you need to know writers just know the structure of the again, the second basic form of communication. Mm. They they delved into that mm. and just learned how to animate it. Mm. Oh yeah. Again, Great something that analogy, yeah. Something that you know, like uh, something that monks did, you know, with illuminated scriptures. <laughs> yeah. You know, is how black letter developed. Uh -huh. You know, because people just understood the fundamental form of a letter and was like, I can put this spin on it. Graffiti writers just do it day in and day out. Yeah. New fonts, fonts that have never been discovered, and and to to the detriment of exposing it so publicly for free yep that is just i that that's frustrating as well as liberating isn't it it's like free knowledge free awesome yeah yeah it's it's, it's like just i love it man yeah. i love it. you know you walk around this like i mean you obviously growing up again you know you're walking around you're seeing stuff and it's like this is dope like just clicking it in it's like, this is dope this is yeah. dope this is dope yeah. I, don't, I, I don't really understand people who don't get it but, yeah. You know, hey man, we are where we are. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a, I think there's a slow, there's a slow upgrade in people's. Uh, uh, I said this before, and I think what happens is like whether you're in a marketing agent or you're a creative agency, you if you are into the arts and you aren't inspired by early graph, you're fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> And and what's more, mate, is a lot of these people that were brought up yeah. with the likes of, you know, Mo Two, Drax, um, Zombie, you know, and upwards, they're now in the places of power. So the tolerance on graph is a lot more lenient now. There's a dilution sounds negative, but I think people are more forthcoming in allowing graffiti to be graffiti because it's it, it's been around for so long. Yeah, yeah. See. Uh... 
Is that controversial? I don't know if it's controversial. I think a lot of people, there's a lot of people who've had like, different, different points and views about it, right? Mm. And, you know, obviously I'm going have my personal views on it as well. I think it is more widely ex accepted in a sense. Is that your personal view? Yeah, I think it's yeah. kind of more widely accepted through understanding. Mm. But people, again, but then, you know, to be honest with you, like, a lot of people still don't get letters. <laughs> they don't true. get it. They can't read it, which is they mad. They can't read it. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's a funny thing. It's like... And then also, I think, I feel like in England, people, you know, feel like they have to, art has to have some kind of a meaning. Mm. Like, they, they, it's like you're read, <laughs> trained to, to always believe that art has to have a meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not, I'm, like, I'm not going to start, start the argument over whether graffiti is art or not. You know, people have their different views on that. Go on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go on. <laughs> if each, each writer and artist has their own approach to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so if you believe yeah. it's art, you feel it's art. If you don't feel it's art, you don't feel it's art. Yeah, if it's yeah. random, whatever. So when, you know when you're painting a piece and someone comes up to you and asks you, like, oh, but, oh, it's great. I love it. It looks really good. It's really cool. And they go, what is it? I'm like, mm. the letters. Oh, okay, cool. What does it say? No. Nah. Uh, you might tell me, you might not. Mm. And then you get the person that comes up to you. It happens quite a bit. Oh, it's cool. I like it. I like it. What does it mean? Mm. Like, what do you mean? What does it mean? Like, what does it mean? Like, what are you trying to. People really come up to me, like, trying to pull some, like, yeah. deep, meaningful, mm -hmm. you know, an, an analysis on society through four letters. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, right. Um, let me ask you a question. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really quite like the way this goes there, goes there. Mm. Cool, my job's done. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What the fuck do you mean, what does it mean? <laughs> I ain't trying to change the world. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> Completely and utterly agree. Like, I'm not here to, I'm not to hear this. Look, are people here, there's people on earth yeah. that create art or visual art to, you know, to convey a message, to go and do you know, what they do. But um, I, I, I don't have to do that. My characters don't have to do that. My letters don't have to do that. I just yeah. need to look at it. Like, does it look dope? Does it look dope? Yeah, my cool. peers gonna be happy with it. That's the thing; it's the culture behind yeah, it. Yeah, that's the real ingredient. And also, I like the I like what you said about the um, advancement of lettering and the incorporation of that from a from a social point of view. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know what I'm saying? Though, yeah. it's, you know, it's I've never thought about it like that. Yeah. Perhaps there is a, an overall mission briefs that we don't actually pay any attention to, but but at the end of the day, it's going to a, a bovine public that is like. There's nothing more better than like the the um, like you say the humanizing of a letter or a word or a piece, and it feels like it's got life. Well, this and is it what comes I mean. by surprise. Boom. Yeah, it's like boom. Like, every time you see a piece, it's bang. Like oh my god, whoa. Mm. You know what I mean? But it's, it comes from like I said animation. You, you know, you know a form of something, the original form. So once you understand it, mm. you know how to warp it, you know how to bend it and still make it look right. That's sick. And still make it look balanced. Mm. And so again, with the original like question regarding like, my characters and you know, the forms and the flow they have, I watch a lot of cartoons. The cartoons? Yeah, I've got some comics and watch a lot of cartoons. Give, give me your top three cartoons. Top three top three cartoons. It's gonna be tough, isn't it? Oh man, that is a tough one, man. Yeah. Oh man, well, the Venture Brothers, dope. Adult Ooh. Swim, The Venture Brothers, definitely up there. Um, Samurai Champloo, okay. anime. These, these are relatively. That's, so that's uh, that's more. Um, uh, what's it called? Anime. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Samurai Champloo is an anime. Great, yeah. dope series. I mean, I can't, I can't count how many times I watched it. I've not, I've not seen it. I've heard of it. I've not seen it. I think I think it, see stuff on Instagram, but I've never watched it. Watched it. it, it yeah. You know, you gotta see it. And then third one, oh, I couldn't really say to you honest with you. Let me say what the third one is. Mm. Uh, I couldn't, couldn't really pick mm. it right now. I might remember it in a minute and mm -hmm. like, jump out. Where's well, this? Yeah. Right now. But things like, say for example, like Samurai Shampoo. If I take like Samurai Shampoo, another one, Cowboy Bebop, a more current one right now called um, Kimetsu no Yaba or Demon Hunter, or whatever you want. You know, mm -hmm. probably even say it right. You know, <laughs> but twice the mask. It's fine. It's um, oh man, like you could be watching it right, and then suddenly like cause the. Mate, the levels of animation and the frames these people come up with, and then like suddenly you see this this and like someone's throwing like a flame ball or something like that or jumping over a tree, and then that's it. Freeze frame that, <gasps> and that's it. Whoa. That perspective there. You've got the arm flared out here, the back's hunched over, and you're like, that's the ribbon right there, man. So they're selecting certain things to move and other things frozen and shit like that. You mean? The more, like the more you watch, like these people have broken down how people move. You know, oh, that's cool. And then they've, they've under, they understand the anatomy of movement, you know, so they can, they animate. They mm. animate that and they, you know, they, um, 
they exp they play around with those forms well, so they're unrealistic in a sense, and the camera angles. Mm. So you know, I'm I'm just sitting there having a sketch, or like, I'm sitting there watching my cartoons, and then you know, I see, then I see like this kind of nice flare of like a camera angle, mm. this animated thing. And I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, that that that's dope. Wow. And then from there, it's like, okay, you got that you got that thing in your head. You can even do a you know screenshot, and then you're like, okay. So that was the elbow there, and that's there, and then, but I don't, you know, I'm not gonna do my hands static like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hands like that, and then flick out that way, and then, yeah. bang, you know, you, you get a form. Sometimes you don't get it right first way, and you got to resketch it or yeah. change it up. But, oh, see, this is where I got so many fucking. It's just too <laughs> deep. It's too much. But, but that still doesn't answer the question of, in a real chicken and egg kind of way. Oh, on, yeah. How are you? How are you getting it right? So readily, like, is it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you, thank you. How are you get, that, thank for you real, though, like, I've seen you paint as well. It's like, dude, like, how are you getting it so that the flow is okay? You're sketching it out on the wall, but then it just it suddenly it just it's like one of those pictures that you know you have to look closely at, and all of a sudden it comes to life. Yeah. How are you getting it to that fluidity? Off. Thank the you very much. You know what man. I mean, um, I mean, only thing I could ever say is practice. I mean, I've done, I've definitely done some stuff over the years. I'm just like, oh god, I want to raise that for my history. <laughs> but um, I'd say practice. Um, sketching does help, but translating a sketch to the wall, like there's all. Oh, I've always feel like there's going to be something that's a bit off. Other people don't see it, mm -hmm. but I see it, and it's like mm, that's a bit off. Um, if, if maybe that's just the perfection. Maybe you're taking it from a an inspired place where you would. You just you know the equivocal that you were trying to go for. Exactly, but no you know, one else would see it. No one else would see it. You know, yeah. I'm like, oh, that finger should be longer, that elbow should be higher, that neck should be short. I don't know. There's always something. It's like, oh, okay, it's a bit off, but I'll take that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm not a person that's gonna be a perfectionist sitting there like, no, I have got to tweak it again, and I got to, no, that's not right. No, I'm, I'm not that person, man. I'm taking it as it is. You know, I'd, I'd give my best crack. Well, sometimes I could do better. Go best crap. Mm. Be happy with the wall, happy with the piece. You know what I mean? Mm. Go home, sketch. You know, go back the next day and paint, mm. paint again. But I think mm. it's like practice, like anything, man. I mean, um, you sketch, you sketch, uh, you paint, you paint. Translating it, like you know, go regarding scale again. That's practice. Pra that's that. Yeah. That also was another question I was going to ask. Practice. The translation, like I've seen you do massive, massive, which is inconceivable. Inconceivable. Excuse me. You can't. Imagine going up to a wall of that scale and doing a character to that. S you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think anybody could. But I guess, like you say, bigger the better as you, things progress, right? Yeah, exactly. It literally just takes practice. Um, I mean, like you know, I sit down. Let's say for example, I've got, I've got a job on, but they've got an in-house designer, and mm. he feels like, okay, he wants something there, and he wants something yeah. there, and like, we want to put this on the wall. Mm. Well, I can't design, and they feel like, oh, but I think this could be better here. Well, we change that. I'm like, look, dude, no disrespect. Like, I had like I, I my foundation is design as well, right? No disrespect, but you look at things on a 13, 15 inch screen, maybe 27 if you're on an external computer or whatever, external screen. You look at things that at the most A0, hmm. okay? I've worked, and my team, we've worked a lot of years. And Scale. Making a lot of mistakes to hmm. understand how things will look hmm. on a 18 meter wall. You know, that's so sick. That's that's our job now. Like we've we've spent that we've we've we've, we've made mistakes on it. Yeah. We've gone up, gone down, looked at it. So that looks off actually. That design was wrong. We need to like you know rearrange this. Mm. Not all designers. Not like, you know, no, not attacking in-house designers. I'm just saying though. But it's this is what we do, and this is what we've been doing for however long now. We've been painting things from an A4 yeah. sketch. Onto it's in part a big what wall. you're paying to be doing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, but you've trained yourself to like understand that scale. So that's mm. that's all it is, practice and making mistakes and knowing that. You know, if you yeah. look at a wall and it's like, oh, actually, that is a bit off there. So let me amend that and then that'll flow a bit better. Yeah, that's experience, isn't it? Yeah. Like on social media, God, I say that word so many times. I'm bored. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I love social media. I feel, I, hey, I'm man, it's got time and space. clearly addicted to it. But like... Love MySpace. Yeah, man. <laughs> bro, love the MySpace. Bro, yeah. listen, go there. But yeah, for real, like, I mean, everything has its place at the right yeah. time, like you say. But um, you, you really do cut your chops when you're faced with these obstacles, don't you? You don't get them when you're, you know, when you're doing something for the sake of it for you know instagram or whatever you know doing it on a piece of paper and so like really getting a grip on your yeah your uh use of space yeah. negative or positive you're standing there in front of it and you've got to make 
something yeah. happen. That takes time, doesn't it? It does. It does. You know, and it does take time. It takes uh, you know everybody hones in on a particular skill. They say they want to be somewhere, you know, and they want to. You have to work to develop to that mm. point. I think one of the good things about moving to to Barcelona was um, nobody knows who the hell I am, man. Nobody mm. knows who I am. Nobody cares who I am. You know, I'm just Johnny Foreigner mm. painting a wall like any other Johnny Foreigner, foreigner that comes over and paints mm. there. You know. Mm-hmm. So when I moved there, I was like, all right, I'm here. Nobody knows who I am. It was like I was like a kid again, like, like just starting the scene. Did you feel competitive? Did you feel like, yeah, I'm going to fuck up Dude, now. I'm going to fuck this shit up now. You, I enjoyed the sweat. I still enjoy the sweat. I it's still there. You still Oh, there. man, yeah. Like, mm. you, like, I've got to represent. I'm here. I've got to represent London. Mm-hmm. I've got to represent London. I can't leave a shit piece mm. any day. No way, no how. <laughs> so I'm not saying any piece I've done is amazing. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> when you get there, it was like... I was like, okay, I'm here now. I don't really know any writers here, mm. but I'm gonna paint. Mm. So, you know, you, you know, you, you hit in this, in this sketchbook and you go hit the wall. And it's like, you know, first you need to paint more. Then you go to another piece to make sure it's banging. Mm. And it, it just keeps going and keeps going until, you know, some people, one person sees your stuff, another person sees your stuff. And, you know, it's just like, again, like when you start out again and, you, you know, people come to you and, mm. you, you know, you've seen a seen a name about and stuff, like, oh, you're that guy, you know, they give you pops, which is always nice, you know? Mm-hmm. But I, I need, at that point in my life, man, I feel like I needed it. Yeah. I love London, I love it to death. Oh, I feel you. I love it to death, man. Yeah. But I needed that. Mm. I, I needed to come out of my comfort zone. You used to say it to me on the phone the other day and I was so taken back and I think it kind of exercises that same scenario of you when you're saying about starting from ground level and actually not only proving your your skills but, I don't know, it's a, there's, a, there's a viral vibe to it, isn't it? It's like it goes back to the root of like if you're good, people start talking. Yeah. You know? No, no, so actually, the more, uh, actually, no, that's not true. It's more, the more you're doing and the better you're getting, the more activity you're doing. People, yeah. you know what I mean? Look, I think one fundamental of this scene as well, of graffiti, is that it's egotistical. It's, it's not, like, it's, I don't think you can really deny it. Because no. it literally is just saying, this is me, I'm here. Yeah. And, you know, five minutes later, I'm here as well. And I'm here as well. Yeah. I'm here as well. It's yeah. egotistical. I'm not saying you go out to get your props. I'm just saying, you literally go out to say, like, I'm here. And then I'm here. And then I'm here. Yeah. I fucking time. love that. Right. Yeah, don't you? That's yeah. still, it's, it fuels any kind of creative thing you're doing. It is. It? Look, there's an arrogance to it. Mm. There's an arrogance to it. And this is the funny thing as well. I remember when I was in, like, was in uni, right? My design tutor, my, my tutor always said to me, listen, there's, you know what's separate? Okay, design and art are separate. Art is egotistical. Because, okay, you communicate a message of whatever the fuck you want to talk about, mm. whether you care somebody else wants to hear that message. That's what art's about, okay? It's egotistical. Yeah. Design is, look, it's marketing, it's media, okay? Design is there to communicate a message that you're paid to communicate. That's the separation between art and design. Ooh, fucking dropping so, gems today. Taking that in, uh. you know, if people want to talk about art and or graffiti is an art or not, or anything that, if you want to discuss that, remember, like, you want to say, okay, does it, what does this mean? What does it mean? Art mm-hmm. is fundamentally egotistical. If someone talks about whatever they want to talk mm-hmm. about. Graffiti is egotistical. Look, we, we all like, you know, each one teach one. That's how it should be. You know, you raise Absolutely. up and stuff, yeah, you know? Man. Absolutely. But I'm happy. Like, it is the one thing that taught me that whatever you, if you want something, you go out and achieve it. I think it taught a lot of people that. I've, I've sat in rooms yeah. and we had this conversation at house parties with writers, you know, mm. and it's like, pff, it's the one thing that taught, school couldn't teach us that. University couldn't teach us that. Yeah. Other things, other social parts of life didn't teach us that. Graffiti yeah. taught us that. If you want something, you have to go and earn it. If you want to be up, you've got to yeah. earn that up. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, earn yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It takes work. It takes sweat. It takes money. It yeah. takes cold hands. Mm. So, if I, so, you know, again, so people, some people might know me in London. Some people might not. You know, it's, yeah. uh, I'm in Barcelona now. And, you know, I want to meet other writers. I want to paint other people. I want to paint other dope people as well. Mm. I, I need to, like kind of prove that I'm dope, but also I've I'm, I've got an arrogancy to yeah. it and the energy and want to do more and yeah. Con- consistency. Yeah, I kind of. I don't believe I'm dope, but I believe that I can do dope. To honestly, every I kind of still think I'm shit, but I still have an arrogancy to it. Yeah, like I'm gonna I'm gonna rock this wall. Yeah, I'm so, make the, it dope. so it kind of fuels your fire as well as it the the, the frustration of maybe. You're only as good as your last piece, essentially. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of yeah, that sort yeah, of scenario, yeah. right? Yeah, I get you. 
you know. It kind of fuels you on, but at the same time, you know you're the shit or she wouldn't be doing it. It Kind of, yeah. Mm. Like, you know you can do good stuff. But then also, like I said, no one knows you as, as far as they can see, some Johnny Foreigner. Mm. So it, that humbles you. Mm. That humbles you. It's like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah. So you did, you did one good piece. All right, cool. So mm. all right, I'm going to give you five more. <laughs> like, cool, I'm gonna give you another five more. Mm-hmm. Like you may, you may not know who I am now. You may not like my stuff now, but you know, in two years' time, I stand toe to toe. You're gonna you're gonna give me respect. That's true. Yeah, there you go. See, the real is shit right there. And yeah, it, it literally is. You know, you learn that because of you achieve things on your own. And your peers as well. The people that you came up like. like I said, man, like you meet people like Form, they give you the props. You're like, fuck me. Yeah, I must have done something right. Yeah. Now when you mention this whole kind of cartoon aspect to what you do. Oh, yeah. Like the colours that you're using, definitely now. I was going to get into the colour thing for the walls, but now, now, now you've said it, it's like, oh, of course, like, these are classic colourways that are, an animator would fuck with. Yeah, in a and sense. And in the same way with your sketchbook, from a comics point of view, yeah. of course it's only going to be black and white and grey. Yeah. So you're really yeah. like going on those. Yeah, really hello, yeah. hello, 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 <laughs> McFly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So again, I said, okay, let's say I watch like, um, uh, like if anybody watches like any animation, I say one good cartoon that came out of reason that was dope for colors. Go on. And like for like uh, frames and styling, like Dragon Ball Super. <sighs> When that yeah, came out, cool. I got into it late as well. Yeah. I got into it mad late. Yeah, 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 yeah. The end of the fucking season. I'm watching it, and it was like, you know, if you really like focus on the case, like it's not just straight cell shading. Mm. I mean, it is cell shading, but I mean, they they're putting on these little glares, like you know, you so like say the characters up with the flames and stuff, and you got the red in the hair, and like suddenly, but you just like, wait a minute, it's not just not that's not like three tones of red, you know, mm. like red and the shadow red and the highlight red. Mm. They've got like a little glisten of yellow that's glowing from the side. Fuck like, I me, mean, it's like a part of yellow. I mix that in with an orange, just dust that part of yellow. Yeah, actually, I'll make it pop. Dude, I love that you're passionate about the details. You know what I mean? To any kid that's like 8 to 13, all they're watching is just like action and a hint of storyline. Like, but you do take for granted, you take for granted the, 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 the devil in the detail, don't you? People just do it. They don't realise that that is the key. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Tizer has that shit down locked. Oh my god, man! You paint with Tizer, dude. Like he, he's. Oh yeah, I don't like. I don't like painting next to him. He's dope. <laughs> <laughs> and he, 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 it's almost like zero fucks. He gives. Oh man! He just does it, and you're like, oh, that's tight. Ty- that's the Tizer yeah. piece. Tizer, like, I mean, it baffles me. I mean, Tizer just like goes to a wall. He's got a bag of paint. You know, we like everything's a freestyle, mm. right? And which drives me batshit when I. Think of it, and he's doing it. And yeah. it's like, what? What? But again, mm. you know, I guess like in that sense, it's where he understands letters. He understands rhythm. He knows how they're gonna flow. Mm. And then when it comes, I mean, like I said, so because I don't really color my sketches in, I'm, I don't really have the, the best color concepts. Mm. Really, you know, I keep I keep in a safe zone. I feel it works for me, but I keep in a safe zone. Yeah. And then, but then that becomes your format. That becomes your um. Palette, doesn't it? It does become your palette, but you want to break out that now and then. You want to experiment with things. Mm. You know, every year, every, I think every year I try and do, I try and, I have a different target, okay. you know? Okay. And there's definitely writers you've seen who, like, every year they come with something different. Right. Every fucking year, man. It's crazy. Like, Bonsai. Oh, come on, yeah. For how many years? That guy, yeah. dude, and he has come with something new every year. That guy doesn't go stale. You know who really fucking, really fucking smashed it? All of a sudden, it was like night and day. Whoa, it was Pal. Oh man! Oh my dude. god! Like disc was just like yeah. whoa. Yeah, and he just had fun with it. It just seemed like he had fun with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he still kept to a fundamental. We're like, I'm gonna stretch this over here. What mm. kind of head? He's like, you didn't expect it. It's just all of a yeah. sudden, and it was like literally night, for me watching it, it was night and day. Or yeah. One minute he was doing this thing, the next thing it just went upgrade. There you go, man. You know, mm. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I have got nothing against people that are writers and artists who have their thing and they yeah. they've got nothing against because I like to see the gold. Yeah, you know, that's, that's gold, right. man. To me, I'm like, fuck, that's a classic style. They got that's all point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mia, then, Mia has that yeah, style. You know? classic style, style for days. Yeah, and there's just and it's, it does it to the T, and yeah. it's like, man, dude, man, like, pff, salute to you. Yeah, yeah. But then, like I said, you know, you paint your tires and tires of rocks up there, man. Like, like no sketch, bag of paint. You no, know, like, okay, this will go here, and he just knows it. Look, if I put this colour here, that means that colour has to go into that. And I can accent it with that. But then when it comes to the outline, I'm going to put mm. that there. I'm going to have to put that right there in the background to make this pop. And you're like, dude, what the fuck did you just do? Mm-hmm. How did you do that? 
Mm. And also, the whole thing about Tyson is you paint with him and he's like, he'll say to you, look, do you mind if I, do you mind if I um, point something out? Like, yeah, please, man, because, you know, here you are. And then he will just start picking out the little bits that you need to tidy up. And maybe so, I don't think anybody gets annoyed of it. The best thing it's about it he's is... he's a charmer. He, he knows how to... He knows how to do it. Yeah, and you trust his word, innit? In that one piece, dude, he will up your level for the next two months. Because you will not, you will not go to the next piece and not tidy up those details after that. <laughs> so sick, I love that. And that's the each one teach yeah. one thing. That is the thing about the culture where someone will take the time out yeah. and it will teach you just one little thing yeah. that you could just, just uh, amend yeah. and tidy up. And then you're like, fuck. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love fuck. Thank you so that much. That is a gem you drop in right there on podcast. Oh, that each one teach one know. shit, bro. Like, I mean, this is what podcasts are about. Like, that in itself is just that this gold does. That's fire. Um, you know who else? Right, we're going to just stick him with cartoons for a second here. Ren and Stimpy. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that <was> fucked up. <laughs> that shit. You know when it goes into the detail? Yeah. Picture? Oh my God, what are we like? The contrast shit. Pulls out a bogey and there's like some like hair sticking out. Bing, and wow. then like the, the green. Is, oh man, wow. man, that's crazy. That's when I think of Toast. Yeah. That's when I think of Lumit. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That kind yeah, of yeah. era of who was others as well. There was Lumit and you know this kind of new f way of yeah, really bringing your character style and it was like you know you can you, can, you just put simple fade somewhere mm. to kind of give it a bit of to volume. Do you know mm. what I mean? Not just a simple like kind of like highlight. You know, Perspective. You it, yeah, you give it dimension yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And then again, you know, with the uh, with the when you okay, the variation of line. A variation of line is a big thing. Mm. See, if you continually do, you know, one, you can continually work on having like one straight line, mm. all lines are the same mm. thickness, you know what I mean? Perfection. Mm. But then if you start varying the line in, in a, you start with like kind of thinking about light and dark, where light hits a form. From where it's hitting and yeah. where the light is and whoa, exactly yeah. then you, you vary vary your line to considering that yeah. you bring out more volume in your character again and it's something like that like comic artists do as well. yeah see I really appreciate the, the the kind of graph writers that do that human the the real human looking thing yes I I get that and I, I appreciate that but for me it's a it's a whole different beast when you're trying to bring a cartoon to life. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a fine line before it almost tips itself into too human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like it when artists walk that fine line of making something that clearly isn't human, yeah. like a squirrel. Yeah, I remember yeah, you did yeah. some squirrels once. Oh, I was like, girl, yeah, do you remember that? That squirrels. down there. Yeah. <laughs> they fucking but like they were so human, but they were still squirrels. They had that, like you say, they had the bounce of the light, they had the perspective of the shadows yeah. and the trees. And, do you know what I mean? But then also, you know, I've got from Ninja Turtles. As well, you know, like, the turtles, but I love that. I mean, the turtles, and they got like they still got. I was like, watching that thing on Netflix. Top. I watched that thing on Netflix. You seen the toys that made us? Oh, I haven't watched that yet. No, Dude, watch the turtles one. That's crazy. I watched it last night. Wait, did you see the new turtles animation that came out this year? Uh, new... No, but I have seen excerpts of it. It looks crazy. Dude, the, the animation styling and the, the sequences, fucking phenomenal, man. Is it on now? Can we watch it? Is that watchable? Oh, well, I'll stream it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pay for it on Disney XD. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, nothing to do with us around here. We are strictly legal and legit on the yeah, 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 podcast. Yeah, no bootlegging around here, man. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Uh, but no person actually I'd say, I'd give a shout out to, for example, like colour yeah. schemes, like work, like growing up with him and watching how he played with colour. Who's color, that? Tony Riff. Tony Riff, like... Hey, check him out. How come I don't know him? Oh, you definitely... You know Tony Riff. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you saw it last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you saw it. <laughs> yeah, 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 we saw it. Yeah, <laughs> fucking killed it. Yeah. Flavor Flav. Yeah, man. Tony Riff. Oh, t yeah, dude. You introduced me to him. No, you've met him for years. Well, yeah. Oh, you introduced me last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah. That's um, where I got the name from. There you go, man. Um, Man, dude, he was like... We, we, we drew together, you know, since we were kids, man. <laughs> And he, he started kind of painting me and stuff. But no, man, dude, this guy would come out and, like, he'd do... His illustration's nuts. But he would, like... Let's say he does a character, as fucked as it is, right? And he's going to do the eyes. Everyone just goes for, like, glowing white or glowing yellow, glowing green mm. eyes. This guy fucking fades acid green into magenta for, for eyeballs. And I was like, wait, what? I was like, wait, wait. But it works. 
You know, oh, <laughs> I was crazy. like, what? So I was like, that's, that's a colour scheme. Well, he just goes from that straight line, you know, Panama yellow straight into the into the acid green or something. Because yeah, that's the eyeballs, man. Like he, that was he's like again, he's from that red and stimpy vein as well. Mm. His characters are messed up and mm. weird, quirky, full of life. Okay. So the you know, people that you paint wow. with, you see how they work one with colours, and of course it influences you. Paint with people influences you and how you you know structure and do colours. Mm. K's, <sighs> yo, JK is a complete animal. Him and him and Core. Complete animals, man. Ouch. They come to the color schemes and yeah. they were stripping down and rebuilding, and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. animals. That's mad. So to get to the chance to paint with these guys yeah. is, um, is, 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 yeah, it's been beautiful. Yeah. I've learned a lot. Do they come with sketchbooks when they're doing stuff? Do they, or is it just? Um, all right. Because like ties are be spontaneous and doesn't spontaneous, yeah, yeah. Core. I've seen cores like I went. I was in Denmark with Core, and. Um, he was doing an outline a day in a sketchbook. Every day there's an outline. A5 sketchbook, there's an outline. Next day. You might even do two or three in a day. Next day, you'll be like, okay, yeah, no. Uh, I like that outline there. I'm going to change this little bit here so the R flicks there and the E goes over here. Next day, I'm going to do the new outline. Next day after that, those first two layers of the day, sketch on day one, mm -hmm. and the second two layers of sketch on day three, they work. And he mix it up. Click, click, click. Yeah. yeah. Then he paints, and you know, he paints in, oh, the dude's done like three pieces in the time everybody else has done one. Wow. Wow. He's an, he's an animal. Can I ask you something? Yeah. I don't want it to be a personal um, answer. Mm. It's more of an observation, you understand? Because I get it with music, with beatboxing, and I see people practice, practice, practice. But I kind of have, I kind of understand the answer to, to why I would ask myself that question. But with graffiti, uh, decades of progression and it's having its own kind of industry in a, in a, a subculture. Like, how many, how many sketches do you think it is before you have the gig? Before you have, you know what I mean? Is there an average of sketches before you're like, I don't know, there's a spike in you. But like you've kind of like, you've tapped it, the formula in a sense. Yeah, like I'm only talking of law of averages here, like for every sketch. Because like you're saying there, he's done one a day, one a day, one a day, and then he's found not only ah, these three pieces work as a whole, yeah. but he's also got the value of doing it as a job. And he's taking that and he's getting paid for it. Like what's the law of averages and sketches before you've got, do you know what I'm saying? Um, I, Do you get where I'm coming from? Yeah, I think I understand what you mean. Uh, again, I mean, I think... Like, okay, let me... It's Pref who explained this to me, right? Pref. Pref. Hold yeah, tight, Pref. I had, I, had, I had the honour of sitting down Pref a few times in conversations. He's like, listen, Jebs, art is art and design is design. The graph is separate. Mm -hmm. Right? So, and... I understood where he was coming from when he said that. He, perhaps a guy that can drop so much knowledge on you, it's insane. But he, he was like, listen, art is art, design is design, okay? We know that's separate. Graph is separate. It's not art, it's not design, it's your own personal thing. <laughs> so when you start, and I, I, I feel this is also important because it was for, for myself and person to everybody else, right? When you start painting and you're always sketching and develop your painting, it's, I'm not sketching and develop a job here. I'm mm. sketching and develop my personal painting. This is personal for me. Mm. And that's and, and I, I build on my techniques because I want to develop myself. I want to develop myself for a job. Does that make you, does that introvert, do you turn introvert and does that make you anxious that you're putting all this um, um, uh, living in the now, this downtime into something that is so personal. Does it does it fill you with anxiety that this has to be this has to go somewhere else that not necessarily monetized, but has to go somewhere for a purpose? Um, the, like I said, man, the, I think everybody, I think for everybody, maybe get to an age and everybody's purpose is different. Why you're doing yeah. this and I think everyone's different, yeah. you know. Uh, I mean, I have my reasons, and my reasons simply is I enjoy it. Mm. I like I like I want to make dope shit. Mm -hmm. I enjoy painting, and that's simply it. And you contribute to the bigger tapestry, and then also yeah, you contribute to the culture. I want to continue mm -hmm. contribute to the culture, Sick. developing that, Love that. that style, yeah. you know. Um, but then saying that, for example, I mean, what's that? What's that? Uh, that figure they say it takes is it, is it ten thousand hours? Yeah, that's a doing theory. something yeah. over and over before you. I don't know who came up. They with even that perfect one. it, but you, you you hack it right. Yeah, you hack it. Yeah. So I mean. 
I guess, I guess if you if you talk if you want to talk about it be, being within the industry of painting or the job whatever, like anything, like. I guess you don't really know when you've when you made it. You've no. got the technique down. You just realize that one day your line's cleaner, and you know, you cut your fades a bell. And the phone's cool, the phone's ringing, and you just uh, the things are just happening. No, yeah. that takes work. Yeah. So that takes work. Look, the thing is, like, okay, I know what there's. I know of there's a lot of say artists who get paid mad money. Mm. I, I'm not really finding their work. I don't think they're technically strong. I don't think they're that dope. They get paid a lot of money though. There's a lot of art these days. A lot of artists, and I guess this does then raises the whole street art graffiti argument. Yeah, there you go. See, yeah, there's a lot of artists that I really don't feel are technically strong. I'm I am happy for everybody's success. I wish everybody success mm. and pleasure in what they do. But you know, again, like there's. There's definitely like pop stars that shouldn't be where they are. Yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I don't I know loads of oh. rappers that are better than like someone who played on the radio right now. And there was something there was something I heard the other well actually it was kind of amalgamation of a couple of things I heard and I kind of defined it in my own head. So this is fresh, this is new. Um uh quality is subjective. Yes, yeah, true. Quantity is undeniable. Yes. And that's kind of the graffiti way, isn't it? So you may not like everybody's tag, but if it's everywhere, you're not going. Ein, the the thing he used to do, the yeah. kind of crazy. You know what I mean? It was everywhere, to, to, and you, some of them looked e equally drunk. <laughs> like yeah. when doing, you know what I mean? You know, this was yeah. a leftover piece of can. Yeah, we're just. But uh, you knew, you just knew. Yeah. And how awesome was it that you couldn't make head nor tail of it? Yeah. But then, so then you're looking at let's break down to what people do in a culture, or let's discuss a few aspects yeah. of what people do in a culture, yeah. right? We've been in this culture that's like older than me, man, 50 plus years. Yeah. Right? People are still living and doing it. Yeah. yeah. You've got the people that like to just get throwies. Yeah. You've got people, and then within that culture, there's people that want to do it with fat cap outlines, people want to do it with stock cap outlines. Yeah. You've got the people that do banging hand styles and they just love getting up and they go bombing. Mm. You've got the people that even like, like, you know, they'd rather go bomb with a pen instead of paint. Mm. You know, you've got those mm. people, you know. You've got the people that want to do wild style. When people do flat dubs, you've got the people that want to do characters. So, I mean, those, I guess, if I missed Thanks anything... The fundamentals, those are the fundamentals. Those are them, right? Yeah. And then there's different elements, like naive style to, like, you know, like you say, and then oh, stock then got the styles. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah let's yeah. get to the style of it that's going on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And then, the, the, like you say, the age of when people don't, because they're... Exactly. The, yeah, yeah, because trends come and go through the <sighs> so ages. So many trends. So many trends. It's like, now you come to mention it, this... This shit's fucked up. Like, it, it, what? and people have opinions on certain things. It's like, if they've yeah. got a lane, that's your lane. That's, that's your lane. That's what yeah. they're doing. The end day, it sort of turns you on. Don't get me wrong. I feel like if you're, if, when you come into the culture and you start it, yeah. try out as much as you can. can. Try everything. Mm -hmm. But even when you're older, don't limit yourself. Exactly. For real. There was one point when I was into one cap and it was skinny yeah. for my outlines. And then now I'm like, nah, man, I've got this other cap, man. It's white, it was sick, mm -hmm. it has the flares. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I like that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it, you, you, you can't cap yourself in these things, man. You have to grow. You have to try some things out. But I do I feel that. that you should... True. You should. There's people who have said to me, nah, nah, man, outline should be all stock-up outlines. I've, I've heard this conversation before. You know, I'm not talking to anybody about it. So I'm like, all right, cool, yeah, sure. You want to do stock-up outlines? Mm -hmm. Just do stock-up outlines, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But yeah, make it look dope. I'm mm -hmm. not saying you don't make it look dope. I'm just saying, but... Just make it great. Yeah, you know, and again, each one teach one. You know, teach somebody else how to do stock cap yeah. to that level. I'm shit with stock caps. But, you know, like... <laughs> but but not only for now. You might, like you say, there could be this shift that uh, slowly you morph into doing that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, you, you know, and you that, yeah. accept that shift, you know? Yeah. I think people... I, they limit themselves, don't they? And I when, feel people limit themselves mm, sometimes. Yeah. I would always... I, I would always encourage people to have pride in being technically strong. Mm. Okay, uh, like just keep holding your skill, keep building it up. Have fun, like you have to have fun with it, and you have mm. to have pleasure in it. Mm. You know, keep honing it. So whether it's getting better balance, whether it's getting uh, a better curve on the S or a better kick on the K or something mm. like that. You know, like like just just keep honing your skill, and keep having fun with it, and mm. keep playing with it, man. You know, what I mean? that's part mm. of it as well. I think and mm. um, enjoy. Enjoy, yeah, enjoy it. You're going to get frustrating moments, but, you know, you have to frustrate frustrating moments to kind of get to the enjoying times as well, I think. You know, it can come mm. part and parcel. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it comes part and parcel, and um, yeah, that's then. But yeah, again, I think you know when we talk about the whole thing about business and graffiti. Oh, there's people that jump into it straight away, mm. you know, and it's like, oh, okay, I want to be, I'm gonna, I'm to get into the scene. Yeah. I want to be famous, my face in the cameras or not face in the camera, but face in the magazines, and yeah. I'm gonna get known for this and that. And, then, and I'm like, that's why I rate the pure, pure evil gallery, the still a door gallery, like these places where they really like they celebrate the people that have been doing it from jump. Yeah, yeah, like I, I honestly do feel mm. it's like, I mean. How many times do you know about rappers that don't get you know the airplay they deserve? Totally, oh, it's you all that. Yeah, same thing with writers, man. Yeah. Same Cause, thing with writers. Because a lot of times people are ahead of the curve and they don't get the shine, and then all of a sudden somebody with a bit of money suddenly caps cops onto it. Yeah, and then they take that and run with it. But they are the pioneers. Those yeah, are people that, that there's also people that rightly so like deserve the, 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 the yeah the, you know. But it it takes work though. Yeah, it does take work, and like so if if you want to achieve something. And just as graffiti taught us, you have to work for it. It takes work. Mm. So if you are a graffiti writer and you want to get into the art gallery or become, you know, make money in, in the art sense of it, yeah. it's going to take work. It is going to yeah. take work. I, yeah. I personally, for my graffiti, I don't really necessarily... Right now, I'm not focusing on being on canvas or something like that. Mm. I focus on sketches anyway. He says. <laughs> yeah, right and now. And here we are, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Kels always gets to me, baby. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, you know, for, for real, for right real. now, that's not what I focus on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe at some point, it, it will be. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I thoroughly enjoy black and white. Mm. I think that's just me. Mm. For now, anyway. At least. I never, I never, you know, I, I'm constantly humbled about people coming in here, whether it's artists or graph writers or anyway, because there's no good reason for them to talk candidly. Equally, I understand that there isn't a lot of sp spots where you can do it, but there is something incredibly precious about identity behind the, the piece because the subject matter, it's a bit like Daft Punk, isn't it? It's like, I don't want to know who's inside the, the, the outfits because it's Daft Punk. Yeah. Um, yeah, and sometimes I, I like the unveiling of things, like anyone. But but there is something really mystical about graph writers, isn't it? And you know, there is mm. in this day and age, especially with social media. You know, like I think okay, the, the kind of presence of the it person. Remember, mm. like back in the day, you had the it girl, the it guy. You know, what I mean, someone that's famous for fuck all. Like <laughs> your dad was rich, or I don't know, man. And then yeah. the one big brother, mm -hmm. and just famous, getting mm. like get invited to like these oh, shows yeah. and stuff you know it's like for, for doing what yeah. I mean you've been in Spain this shit is rife still you know this yeah. thing's put the, oh I'm not doing I know so it's rife man yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean like come on people man. you cold. go to Instagram you know what I <laughs> mean you got this person that's getting like endorsed from this company for whatever yeah, yeah. and it's like what the fuck yeah, do they do yeah. don't get me wrong there's a lot of kids who have understood this culture and they made a lot of money very yeah. young yeah, yeah. but they know how to market themselves yeah. dynamite great yeah. that's a good part of it yeah all real. but like Growing up in this scene has helped me and humbled me. Oh, man, I, don't I need can't imagine to what levels. Yeah, I would imagine. It's, it's, it's quantity on a scale, but with quality built, built, it, built in. Yeah. Which is really what, yeah, this is the. So thing. when it comes to these times now, when, for example, like yourself, after how many years you've met me, you mm. know me, mm. and you invite me here to do this, mm. like you feel like people want to hear what I have to say? Well, listen, this speaks volumes. This conversation here, you know, it, it, you don't have these conversations without like knowing your craft yeah do you know what I mean and one thing I'm definitely learning which actually for for graph writers on the whole they are quite um uh, anonymous on even on some of the lowest numbers by some of the most prolific graph writers tell the story mm -hmm. of like people's people don't they shy like like for instance Mir KTC Mir yeah yeah the numbers are super See? low but he's a fucking OG, and and but that but that's because graph by default you have a personal closed identity and you don't want people and, you know so you know I mean that's not for everybody. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But for the people that that are like that that have got legacy and have honed their craft, yeah, man, you've got to talk about it. Yeah, got man. to talk about it. I think I, I mean it's it's like I said, it's an honor. It's an honor. Thank you, know? you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you, man. And it's. You know, going back to that thing there, you know, we've got on social media, people being famous for nothing. Mm. I like the idea of the preserving that part of the culture. Yeah, for real. You know, like, look, look, your face doesn't need to be known, man. All yeah. I want to see is how high, yeah. how many times, how big, how mm. wild, however yeah. way you can get your name yeah. up. 
I want to see the yellow on the Kodak photo when I see your work. Bro. Yeah, you that know, sort of shit. You know what I'm saying? I want that snappy snaps look. Yeah, you know, you know? I just want you to just enjoy yeah, this writing you. thing. This whole, this go to the walls, go and see it. Yeah, Be exactly, man. Yeah, and I hope the podcasts encourage that. I really do. Yeah, I hope so, man. I mean, like, yo, it's I'm... role reversal in a way. It's like, okay, we're talking about this candidly, but you have to go and. B- 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 be, be part of the culture. Go and see it. Yeah. Go and see it at the walls or wherever you want to go see it. You know, even if it's on, you know, UK Frontline or whatever, just just observe. Yeah. yeah. You know, I yeah. like I like the fact that I like I like the fact that the whole anonymousness has been preserved in the culture. Yeah. You know, I like that. I definitely encourage it. Yeah. Um mm. and you know, again, I still I still I still highly rate a lot of the publications that's still mm. going on, you know, mm. print and stuff. Hell you know, yeah. It's good. You know, prints come back. Yeah, it's, it's coming back, man. Uh, mm. for Even a while. in zine form, I yeah, love yeah, that shit back, man. so much. Yeah, gums and tongues a lot. You know, they they're releasing a zine of mm. the illustration sketches a yeah, lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gums and tongue are doing that. You know, and I love the fashion contra- like 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 the, the hated wavy gums. Oh yeah, the hated. Yeah, yeah. You man, know, the way they're kind of merging the the, the, the street culture with fashion with graph, and I love that because I mean it's like everyone knows each other. Yeah. You know, what I mean everyone everyone's like kind of yeah. grown like knew each other growing up and you know we're, we're all kind of a bit more older now and mm. like and the young guns are coming up are killing it, killing it man. crazy <laughs> crazy i'm actually very uh, it's like when you see like, you know when you mention like say the kind of the hated man like mm. uh they got the, you know, the balls just going i'm, I'm mm. gonna do something man i'm gonna make something yeah yeah you know who spearheaded that jan and fucking atg the yeah. way that they did the whole brand relentless Relentless and no, and brazen as well. It's like, yeah, we yeah. just done a train, but we're going to do some t shirts. Yeah, here, yeah, here yeah, have yeah. this. Have this in our uh, squat party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in our squat party. Yeah, exactly. No, I we're going to go out in a minute as well. A lot of respect, Daisy. Oh, that was that, and that was an era. I look at that yes. era, and I'm, that was kind of that was kind of our graph era in a way. Not me as a graph writer, but watching it and yeah. being a part of the. You know, the, that was the kind of yeah, that UK was like scene. Period. I said, I mean, yeah, we grew up watching, I think, so like North London, you know, mm. smashing, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you had four man around, Siege, Zonk, Lom, Zonk, yeah. uh, West and Rust, Sub, Sub, Bosch, yeah, mm. you, you grew up for that, like, the Holloway Bridge, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, you know, we went around, <laughs> and then you had like ATT went around, THL, yeah, yeah. RT went around smashing it, RT, you know, yeah. it was a good time. RT man. Town, and then, yeah, guys, man. yeah, man, yeah, Whoa. boy, yeah. yeah, smashed it. Dude. We, we were, we were spoiled in watching these things. Well, you were, act, you were actively in painting. I was just, for me, I was just like, <sighs> well, dude, it was a whole Whoa. culture at the time, it was a whole scene. I mean, yeah. like, like. At that point in time, I know it was so great as well. Remember how rich the UK hip hop scene was? Mm. Kung Fu, yeah. The Grit, yeah. Roger Muffin's Jam, <laughs> Oba. WKD, wasn't it? No. Was, that, was, was it? It was called no, the Bolt. Wait, it was Oba in Camden. I said Oba. Yeah. Bro, do you remember Oba? Yeah, Whoa. man. Like, you know, that was shout a out to Roger Muffin for like, yeah. that. was a jam. You know, it, that that time was so rich. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was so. Shilly Bears down Cali, like off Cali Road. You know what I mean? They had parties going off as well. Oh fuck yeah, dude! It, you know it was yeah. it was that time of the year, like I, those. Pro- I still had a Walkman. Like, I was going bombing, listen to HFM, Bigger Man and Penfold on the radio. Do you know what I mean? That's why I went up bombing that night. You know, yeah. it was so rich, and you felt so into the culture. You had the the, be- the breakers having their. That was pre rinse well. FM. That was pre rinse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way pre rinse. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Prince one. I don't think Prince was around when Itch started up. So, no, no. I mean, Itch started up. Like, fucking yeah. yeah I mean, like, remember yeah. when Itch, Itch started? I was in Ooh, secondary school. Still. Yeah, 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 yeah. And but I mean, you know, we spent that time there when <laughs> it was a great time. It was, it was the culture there was is like really rich. Yeah. You know, um, fucking. You, and then you know, you had like break dancing jams going on as well. You yeah. go to Ruby Lounge. Yeah, and then yeah, on a yeah, Tuesday, yeah. you go see that, and then you go to Rhythm Factory. Dude, see some shit going down there on a Saturday night. Like, yeah, you yeah, had a jam yeah. every day of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took for granted, and in fact, took for granted to the point that only now, when you're saying that we had that, I was like, oh yeah, we did. Yeah, because it was so sle- it, it slept on. It was just so given. It was such a given that it, that now, when you think it not being there, it's like, oh shit. It's, I don't know, Crazy. maybe it's because we're older, maybe it's because, you know, we're not, I don't know, I mean, you're involved in the scene much more than I am, you know what I mean? I'm mm. a little, I just sit in my home, sketching my sketchbook and listen to fucking radio shows, but, you know, like, you're yeah. still involved in the but scene. But I always see, me. but nah, but I hit you up and you always, I remember you came to, you've come to so many stuff, I think, reaching out and hollering at people is super important. Oh man, yeah. Do you know what I mean? 
But it, it, it is because... Even now. Even, yeah, even now, man. The people in here and doing this, you know, you've got to reach but out. That's and how also we did it you know, back, back then yeah. as well. Yeah. Man, like Nokia 3310. You know, you get a message like, actually, the, yo, <laughs> mate, he's, mate, he's DJing tonight. Mate, he's, you know, he's beatboxing tonight. You're like, oh, shit, what is a jam tonight? Yeah. You're like, cool. Just down the road, I'm there, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah do you know yeah. what I mean? Baggy jeans, yeah. pack your paint. You know, <laughs> like... But he's trusted as well because when you know someone's... This is the other thing as well the promoters and the way things operate, like it's got to come from a reputable place. Yeah. And you've got to know that, you know, you're going to have a vibe, you know, it's going to be a party, you know, it's going yeah, to be good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Some things are quite pop-up and demo now. Yeah. You know, it's like there's the pop-up culture of like, yeah, yeah, we're here for three days and that's it. Or we're here for the week or the month and that's Mad. it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's... Very different landscape. It is a very different landscape, man. It is a very different landscape. It's still dope, more. but like, like you say, we just, well, I think we took for granted that, we, that time. I th- I mean, I, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Met a lot of people, met a lot of writers. You know mm. what I mean? I went that painting. Mm. Um, I miss it. Yeah. In some respects, I miss it. Yeah. What I might take for granted is what we have now. <sighs> yeah. I don't look into it more. Mm. No, that's what I might take for granted, to be fair with you. Mm. How much I have yeah. right in front of me now. Yeah. I don't look it up. I don't dig for it. I don't go out to it, even if I hear about it. Yeah. Hindsight is twenty twenty as well. Once you've done, once it's gone, yeah. you're like. Because I really enjoyed those times. Yeah. I can't, like, you know what I mean? I, I fucking love those times, man. So that's a moral, isn't it? You had so many writers in the back of Kung Fu. So many. Yeah. <laughs> it was mad. Yeah, yeah, do, 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 you do, do, know? Totally. It might still be there as well, but I just don't dig for it to go and check it out and do it. You know what I mean? So the moral of the story. I'll give you the moral. We'll, we'll give it a Jerry Springer roundup. What do you have for me there, Jerry? Yeah, the, the moral <laughs> of the story is, ladies and gentlemen, don't take for granted anything <laughs> that is right in front of you right now. <laughs> Am I right, Jibba? Yeah, yeah, man. Don't, don't, you can't. Don't take, I mean, you, humans are going to do it. But no, you don't. Try not to, man. Try not to. Um, really, really uh, trying to appreciate the time that you have right now. Like, and then just, just do your thing, man. Like, uh, if you love hip hop, keep digging for hip hop. Mm. Keep digging. You've got no excuse. You've got SoundCloud. You've got MixCloud. You've mm. got. Spotify, keep digging if you love hip hop. Mm. You know what I mean? Hip hop ain't dead, hip hop isn't boring, enough like that. Mm-hmm. Keep digging. Cool. You're doing a sketch, you can't find inspiration. Yo, do your research. You've got Pinterest, you've got Instagram, yeah. you've got this, that. Take some time to do research. Don't live on that reference stuff, but take time to do, do, do your research. You like to draw, but you can't figure out anything. Like, loads of people say to me, like, oh man, you know, I used to draw, like, oh, I've got this creative thing, but I don't do anything. It's like creative people are gifted because they know what they're. they're creativity is mm. and they practice it yeah if you used to draw back in the day you don't draw anymore because you go home and watch these tenders and drink a cup of tea like well that's your choice but mm. you know draw like mm. just draw because you've got a talent you've got a gift do yeah. it if you know your talent you don't use it Bruce Lee style just f- f- focus on that and do it yeah you know there's people that, you see when mm. you're creative in some way you're you're lucky because you know what your, your creativity creative mm. output is God, Everyone's that's so creative true. in some point, You're I believe. You're right, bro. You're fucking right. And I think we can all take a piece of that. Yeah. For real. There's the people that don't, who are creative, but they don't know what their creative output is. Mm. They go do it, they go work their job, they go home, they sit down, they don't know what to do that evening. Yeah, some brain's calcified with just stuff. Sit in, the, sit in the rush hour two times a day, that'll you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So if you're creative, you don't do anything with it. It's like you're blessed, but you're not using that, man. That's cold, yeah, you're right. Do it, man. Why, why not? What else are you going to do? Yeah. Drink a beer like every other day? Of course. You drink beer and be at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Just keep moving them fingers. <laughs> keep moving those yeah. hearts. You don't want to wake up like one day and be like, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that. It's like, you, you rather wake up one day and be like, you know what, I tried to do something. That's cold. That's fucking cold. I'm inspired. That's fire. Yeah, man. It's just, just watching, you know what I mean? Mm. All you guys, like, you know, when you took me in when I was younger, you know what I mean? You, Doughboy, Porch, mm. you know what I mean? Conrank, Con yeah. Rank. Shout out to Conrank. Con He's still Con Rank. going off doing his oh, thing. Oh, boy, you know can mean? you imagine him listening to this and us not shouting you him know? out? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're getting a fucking phone call, wouldn't it? <laughs> Should we edit it and, like, yeah, yeah. cut out just for just? We, we, or well, do yeah, you know, we, B we, for his name? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, yeah, he's only, totally, totally, totally. Uh, Jason Bro, Rank, yeah. honestly, Rank. it's been a fucking pleasure, bro. Oh, no. Oh, I honest, God. Man, on his mind, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. I, hit, I hit all the points, I hit everything that we want to talk about. Done it all. I mean, are yeah. you happy? I'm fucking cool. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yeah, I'm like, right. let's go. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you so much for the piece as well. No, um, man, my pleasure. I did. Thank you beautiful. for the support over the years. Yeah, man. Um, and uh, where, where, where can they find you? Um, right now, you can find me in your local bar in Barcelona. No, I'm joking. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I'm on. I'm on Taking Instagram. Tips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Instagram. Jebba LDN. It's in Jebba London. Jebba LDN. J E B A. J E B A L D N. That's the one. Yeah, and um, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm just there really. Now, I urge um, you to check the skills if you will, for real. It will be all website right. up at some point, and I saw my like, I saw my stuff out. And I yeah, yeah, yeah. Work. That's right. That's right. Balling good time, isn't it? I guess something I want to say is like from you know really and truly is thank you to everybody. Like mm. everybody that laid something down in the graffiti scene, mm. everybody that laid something down in the culture. Mm. Whether you're from Germany, from New York, from Philly, from Northampton, I just want to say thank you. Mm. Um, and thank you for everybody that laid their life in line for it as well. Everybody that we lost yeah. as well. Just raise a glass of them. Mm, hell yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, we lost a lot the last couple of years. Yeah, we have. Just raise a glass and say thank you for their input into it as Salute well. Salute that. Forget that. Salute that. Uh, your G's for that, man. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. My G. See, that's what I'm proud to call you, mate. <laughs> Fucking Jebber inside the house. Respect, man. Hold tight, hey, hold man. tight. Much respect. Thank you for having me here. Nah, thank you. Before thank you. Dope. Killer Killer Podcast only dropping gems like that, okay? Big shout out to everybody who watching. Subscribe. You know, tell a friend, tell a friend and all that good stuff. Killer Killer Podcast signing off. Look after yourselves, all right? Peace. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> How was that then? Huh? Yeah?